All right, so we're live. All right, so this came up recently in a group I, I was in. Um, and essentially, you know, who this video is for, this is for someone who has been uh, writing Python for a bit. You know, you might have done some object-oriented style programming. Uh, you might have just learned how to write classes or not. Maybe you've written classes uh, quite a bit, uh, but you never really you know, dug into some of what some of the stuff meant. You're just like, this is how I learned it. It's good enough. It works for me. Uh, or, or, you know, you just saw the stuff there and that's what the tutorial said. So that's, that's what you did. Uh, but now you have questions. You're like, what does, what is this underscore underscore init? thing or what what does self mean right and so that's that's kind of what i'm going to explain in this video and for that i'm, I'm gonna need a bit of uh, a bit of setup and essentially what i want to do is to be able to create objects that represent books right and so typical thing you want to do is you want to say, okay, I want a book class of some kind. Uh, I want to have a book title. Uh, I want to have like, you know, author names. And I want to have something like publication year. Uh, let me just shorten this for my sake and just call this pub year. All right. Uh, this is as much as I'm going to uh, do for this this video so we say we want to create objects that represent books right so let's create let's create that uh let's do class book and here is where some of the ceremony of python comes in for a language that is otherwise not particularly ceremonious right but every time we create classes we tend to do this one thing and that is to create an underscore underscore init method um, with the first uh, parameter being self and uh, we have some attributes here so we want to when we create a book we want to give it a title we want to give it uh, author names and we want to give it a publication year right and then we say some things like well uh, elf dot title is equal to the title that we give it we want to say that author names is equal to the author names that we give it and we want to give a publication year that's equal to the publication year that we create it with Okay, fine. So this is how we create a class that represents books. Now we can go ahead and we want to say, um, I don't know. Let's, let's write, boy, <laughs> uh, let's have a book called artificial intelligence and we want to give it a title that's called artificial intelligence and we want to say the author names are Bobby Bob and Tommy Tom right and we want to say that this got published in uh, 2019 before times. Cool. Now we have a book called AI. Now we might also want uh, another book. Maybe we want to call this book um, no, BI in context or something like that. <laughs> Uh, and so, you know, business in intelligence, 
in context. And here we want to do Robbie Rob. And this is a single author book and it got published in 2018. Fine, we have these and we can do things like, you know, we can print uh, the authors of the book. We can print the, uh, yeah, in context, we can print the title of the book and we can print their um, publication year. No problem. That much you might have already seen, right? But what you might not be really getting is now you're asking yourself, well, what really is in it? And what is this self thing? And I'll start with what is in it, right? So when you create an object for some class, like we do here, we say book, a class is callable, right? You put the, the parentheses after the class name and you call it with some parameters, similar to how you would a function, right? What happens when you actually do that call? Well, two things tend to happen. Python classes have this, uh, this method called new, right? Underscore, underscore new that establishes a new object, right? And this gets called for any class that you, you, you trade, any class that you call in order to create a, an object. It calls this new underscore, underscore, new underscore, underscore method. And after it does that, it calls this init method that you define. And the function of the init method, the purpose of the init method is for you to customize the object, right? And the way you customize it is by using these parameters and adding the parameters onto the object itself. And there's that word self, because now you can get this understanding that self is a reference to the object that is be, that was created or that you're calling the function on, right? So in this case, in the case of this BI in context object, self refers to the BI in context object. In the case of this AI book object, it refer, self refers to the AI book object. Right. And you may say, okay, well, I've also defined, you know, other methods, let's say, uh, site, let's say you want to cite this book and you've, for, oh, well, so for every method that you add to a, a class, um, let's say you want to pretty print authors, uh, you would also have to put self there. And let's say you wanted to get the uh, age of, no, that's not a good example. Let's say you want to, after the fact, add addition or something, right? You want to do, uh, no, let's say you want to revise title. So revise title and you get new title. And this will say self.title is equal to new title. Okay. But whatever function you here, and I think I'm going to stick with this. I'm not going to fill in uh, 
these other two two methods because this one exemplifies what I was going to do with the other, uh, at least with sight when I initially thought about how to explain this. Uh, when you call this here and you do something like AI dot revised title and you say, I don't no longer want to call this artificial intelligence. I want to call this artificial intelligence uh, with applications, All right? And so we could print ai.title and see the changed title. But notice that we didn't pass anything in, in this first position here to attach to self, right? Because self is a parameter here. So why aren't we passing something there? And like I said, it's implicitly being done for us by the Python uh, interpreter to evaluate this object that's right before this dot as self. So in other words, there's a breakdown, there's a kind of breakdown that's, that's happening where a function, where something like uh, book.revise.title.ai and um, let's book. do that. We, we might be doing something like book.revise.title. You pass in AI to refer to self and you give it a a new title uh, and maybe you want to do something like second edition on there right these things are these things are these two lines are equivalent it's just that python gives us a, a nicer way of talking about the uh, of referencing the object that we're calling some method on without us specifying it all the time right and, and we can see print ai.title and uh let's do it here as well just to show you So we see we have artificial intelligence that gets printed. Then we see artificial intelligence. I get with applications after we did AI.revise uh, title. And then we did the expanded version of that where we passed in the AI object into the self position with the second edition here. And so that is what's happening with self, right? Python is with, with this, Python is doing this really convenient thing for us of taking the thing that is before this dot and substituting it into this self position. So that's when we call it like this, it already knows that self refers to the AI object or whatever is in front of that dot, right? And so that's what self is. And this is what init does. Like we said, we said that when you create a new object, Python calls this uh, underscore underscore new underscore underscore function to create the new object. And then init gets called automatically and it runs these uh, lines that you put in it to give the values that you passed into uh, into the, 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 the function call when you, this, this call when you, uh, when you were creating the object and sets those onto the object itself, right? So that's what init is for, short for initialize. Like, well, you created me, now initialize me with some values. Give me something that'll, you know, make me unique, make me stand out, right? And so that's what uh, init is all about. 
and that's what uh, self is all about. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You know, subscribe, like, comment, engage with me and the rest of uh, our community in the comments below. And subscribe, you know, do the things that YouTube people do. Bless up, big up yourself, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, day, or whatever.